Hello, and welcome back to Let Supreme Ghost the Dark mod. We have arrived at Talbot 3, a fiasco at Fauchard Street, um, which is the last Dark mod mission in the Milan series uh, of the Talbot character, which is Garrett, of course. So we only really have one mission left in the series after this, and that is uh, Prowler of the Dark, which is for Thief 1, which I have not played. I'm planning on playing that, but... Not right now, not in the near future. So today we're going to play this mission, which is a good one. It's short, um, we we'll say a little bit shorter than uh, Return to the City, but it's good nonetheless. I, I think it's really good, high quality, uh, compact mission. Okay, so before we read this, um, I know I said that I was going to um, play the Seven Sisters next. That is something I'm going to have to go a little bit back on. Um, I realized that I have too many campaigns running right now, so I'm going to do the Seven Sisters, but not right now. So it's going to come, but I want to go back to Keeper of the Prophecies next. I might even do another Dark Mod mission before that. Um, and I also have Ruins of Virginia that I want to finish. I, I don't want to start a third campaign before I get to that, to those, and, and get to continue and maybe finish those. So yeah, um, hang tight on the Seven Sisters. It is coming, but um, not right now, but it's obviously one that I recommend everyone to play before I, uh, I play it anyway. So little update there. Um, today, my contact Marshand has brought my news, me news of a lucrative opportunity. Turns out there is a man living on Fauchard Street named Lenderman. His business is credit, but long gone are the days when he was just one of the usurers playing their trade, plying their trade in the poor districts of the city. Lenderman has risen in the world and fancies himself a creditor for merchants, even nobility. His house, once a ramshackle place close to a factory, has been refurbished with precious materials and furniture to prove once and for all he has made it. And his latest acquisition, a pouch full of opals, is too valuable not to attract attention sooner or later. Indeed, it is time to pay him a visit. Lenderman knows this as well, and he has reputedly hired new guards to watch his place day and night. A frontal approach will be complicated, maybe even impossible, but every house is multiple ways in, and where the front door uh, does not yield to a talented thief, another surely will. I will have to be careful, since I have very little equipment, and have even misplaced my rope arrows in the commotion of the tavern. But this will have to be a quick job, since who knows how long it takes for the news to spread through the underworld, and how soon someone else seizes my opportunity, or stalks me to deprive me of my winnings on the way home. Marchant, reliable as he is, has a crucial flaw. For the life of him, he cannot keep his mouth shut. Better let him brag of his successful heist than a missed opportunity. Okay, nice background there. We're going to play an expert, of course, we have to for Supreme. And steal the pouch of opals Lenderman keeps in his house. Even a place like Fauchard Street will yield a good haul to someone who is good at his job. Fin find 1,000 loot. When all is accomplished, return to your starting position. Okay. So let's start then. go. See a guard walking in the distance there. Gonna give it a real save right away here. Okay. So we are carrying Blackjack Sword Sword, uh, Broadhead Arrows, that's it. And then Spyglass, Lantern, Lockpicks. And we have a map. So let's look at that. So we start, uh, again, we have no pointer here, which I don't like, but we start no north on Fauchard Street, the far northern end. We have a location just uh, west of us called Gross and Swill, which is a factory. And then just south of that, it connects with where you can see a bridge across the street to an office complex that actually is a part of the same company. It's just an, ad an adjacent building. And then you have Lenderman, in the southeast, that's where the opals were found, and that's where we're going to head via 
that office complex. There's also an Arlick estate, which we only can enter briefly in the south, and then a flop house on Term Termagent Court in the far southwest. <clears throat> Those are really all the places that you can get into. There's a little courtyard and a bookstore. Um, just north of Lenderman's that we can get into. But although the briefing notes said that it was almost impossible to get in through the front door, that's actually what I'm going to do. Um, and I'll explain that once I get a little bit closer here. Um, there's really no point in us heading down the street here. Um, there are three to four guards that patrol the streets. Uh, at least two of them come way over here and they alternate and it's actually very difficult to move through the streets here. We have to get back but to get there we're gonna head up here. You can climb a lot of these structures in Milan's missions which is great I think. So I'm gonna do that right away here. You can move a little bit this way, but you can't get past. There's a statue over there. We're gonna head into the factory here. Great music in here. So this is then the actual factory of Gross and Swill, I believe. And the only thing of interest in here, besides this door where we're gonna leave, is a little ventilation chamber here with some loot. A purse worth 50 and a vase worth 50 and then there's a readable. Uh, there. Here's two more I swiped from the office. The pouch is from Enel and I'm not sure he will even realize it's been taffed. Guy's dim. The second was actually tucked away in the storage cabinet, wrapped in an oily rag, I wonder. Dangerfield looked at me strangely when we met on the bridge yesterday. He's either onto us or just the usual sulk. I also ceased on Lenderman's, feigning I dropped my hammer in their front yard, trying to chat with the guards, their dumb lummoxes, and less friendly than the horn beast you saw at the ma menagerie last month. The whole bunch lives way away from the premises, but at least three are always on watch, plus the cook and the maid when they are at work. I say this is impossible for us. Maybe Marchand knows a taffer or three or can use the tip. I'll go see him right away. Could use that extra coin for the new dress Missy has taken a fancy to. Can't just lift it. The tailor's a pal, and he'd known the piece if you ever saw it. See. Cool. So I'm gonna reload, because you can't really place that readable back there easily. So a little bit of insight on the people that are part of the criminal underground here. So remember I used the stealth statistic, so we want to check that from time to time. Sorry, my voice is a little hoarse. I've had a little bit of a cold lately, but so I need to take a sip of water every now and then. We're going to head through here, and beyond this door is a guard. He might not be in this very room. I realize that you actually have to lean left or right, not forward to uh, eavesdrop on the doors. He did not hear me. I forget that they... I forget that they turn around to close the door. Oh, I was standing on the side there. Okay. 
Yeah, so we have to jump over on that small ledge right here because there's a piece of loot. In the windowsill back there. But the guards on the streets below can hear us here, so... See, so we get a suspicion from that. can play this mission and Perfect Supreme Ghost it, so I obviously want to do that. Looks like he's stationed right below. There's a guard, a stationary... yeah. to jump farther than that, that's the problem. And we can't walk either, that's what I try to do there. Oh, we have to wait for that guard to leave then. And that can be a problem because the other guard might come out here. You guys know I've cranked up the hearing to hardcore. You have to for Supreme. Oh, 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 oh. difficult spot. There's a couple of trouble spots in this mission, and this is one of them. up there I think the yeah it's too it's too narrow of a ledge you can stand on pretty much any size ledge in dark mod but you can't mantle up a small ledge like this at least I don't think I got over there on the first try in my test run because I just happened to be lucky with no patrollers down below, but we have to get over there. We can't get up there any other way. You might be able to mantle a lamp on the streets, but that's also difficult because of the patrollers. Could have gone now if that guy hadn't come out, actually. Yeah, we get it again. There's no way we can get over there like this. As long as that guy is there, we cannot do this, it seems like. Just 
trying to run over there too without jumping. Jumping just makes too much noise. I did not anticipate this to be a problem. At all. I had problems getting back in my test run, but not now. He's going to come, and now the guard is going to come back before he leaves. Where are these guys? Oh, he's standing right underneath, yeah. I don't know if I can do this, guys. Uh, I don't see how I can find a, a gap in the patrol here. Can I jump all the way over there, maybe? Because I need to get a piece of loot there. just so frustrating. I swear, I literally jumped over there the first time and my practice run never had an issue with it. Now he's up there and he hears me there too. And the only time we can do that is when he goes in through that archway. And by that time he's going to come back or there's another guard going to come. See, now he's... If they both can go away right now, that would be the best thing. This is dark, luckily, but we need to get this phase. We're 50. Now we have to jump back over there, and that can be difficult as well. That I had trouble with in my practice run to make that jump. And that wasn't problematic now. Good. 
good. So 150 total now. We gotta head into that office complex, but we gotta wait for this guard to sort of... He goes through and goes out on the balcony on the other side. The only thing that we need to pick up in here is on this desk. Gold goblet and a bottle of wine. Total 215. Now there's a report that we can read in here. Subpar performance. IH um, Enel, Lackwit. N ports, untidy clothing. I danger field, sleeping at desk, shoddy penmanship. Why Heron? Refusal to rise and salute. Uh, insinuations about purpose of inspection. I.H. Atwell. Uh, failure to store schematics securely. Untidy clothing. Uh, w. Blower. Uh, refused rise and salute. And then over here, there's also a desk that you can pick open. We don't need to pick open, but I want to do it to get this readable and read that rolled up message. It is as you have said. They are hiding something in the old machine room. I saw Coyle rummage about one of the boxes of rusty junk, then Dickinson sneaking in. I suspect the liquor, but both were alert and careful, and Dickinson is well known for refusing a round even when invited by, un by another. I propose we do not tell anyone about it yet. If Mullen learns the news, he will tell Gross himself, and we will get nothing out of it. If we see what it is, what is it about that cash first, we can still tell later. Or better, go to Gross ourselves. No harm in it, and I suspect Mullen has something against you. Just conceal this note from his eyes and lay low for a while. Our time will come, Jay. <clears throat> okay. Don't need to move those notes. <clears throat> now, there are two main ways into Lenderman's. I'm going to take, or three actually, I'm going to take the front door because one is impossible for Supreme and one involves picking a lock that I don't want to pick. And that lock would be a door down that staircase. You can see a door there at the end. I didn't show that to you earlier. But that you don't need to pick. So I don't want to do that. <clears throat> Coming up on another difficult area here. This is Lenderman's. This is the upper balcony. You cannot get in there. I have not found a way to mantle this tank or this pipe without getting a notice from those guards down there. So we have to head in through the front door. <laughs> Surprisingly, that's actually possible to do. I briefly read a report um, from Marble Man about this mission, and he said that you can get into the front door. Um, I hadn't tried it yet. I was about to. So I verified that his method works. I didn't really know how he did it, but we can drop down here. Pretty easily. Now there's an archer here that walks between this door and the front door. There's um, Lenderman himself, I assume, who actually comes out on the top balcony occasionally. see so we are now let me show you on the map where we are so we are just to the left and a little bit north of where it says lenderman the l and lenderman you can see the front door right to the left of the l so we're just north of that right now 
So we have to wait for this guard to leave a station now. Let me make a real save. Gonna get me a good O after this. So I tried to mantle up the side where I was. Many times I couldn't do that. So you actually have to mantle up here. A servant should deal with that. That's a, that's a big rat. Uh, yeah. It's, it's still a rat, though. So we don't get any alerts from that. So when he leaves, we can try this. Can't let up, let up too much here. We have to wait for him to. That's a fine girl. That's a fine girl indeed. He might turn his head a little bit here. Occasionally, like guards do. But, but I says that's a big rat. Uh -huh. yep. yeah. <clears throat> Something moving. Oh, so he also stared a little bit. <coughs> Is that something? Oh, right? I almost was out of view there. This is a tough move to get in like this, but it's possible. I'm gonna save it here, actually. <laughs> Who saw me there? Whoa, who saw me there? Okay, so here you can hide in this corner. Do you like the lean move? In the shadows. Yeah. Should be able to do that. Can I get over here? Yeah, here. There we're safe, for sure. I can tell. Good. Get the chalice here worth 100. And then we gotta wait for that guard to come back out again, I believe. So we're now on the bottom floor of Lenderman's. There's two floors. There's no map of inside his establishment, but I thought I heard something. There we 
we go. He saw me there. But what am I supposed to do? I'm not say anything. It's not my fault, I'm right. Pile of coins there. They're worth 40. Total 355. So, that's the cook in there, and he comes out here and goes into the kitchen, hangs around a little bit. And then you have this guard going back and forth, so we have to dodge these guys now. There's one more piece of loot in the pantry, in the kitchen. So yeah, we can't do this mission without, or getting a zero stealth score, perfect stealth score. Uh. Cook, once more, viands and fowls for the guests, mutton and pudding for the staff, and even me if I dine alone. The expensive wine is only to be opened when I say so. Better yet, refill the bottle with some cheaper vintage when it runs out. The clients will hardly tell the difference. The only thing we need in here is this bottle of wine. <coughs> worth 50. Everything else is just eye candy. It's not nothing valuable. No weapons that I know of in here. Check the stealth score. Good. I almost wish there was a way to display the stealth score a little bit less um, intrusively, you know, where it just showed us small numbers in the top left corner without that big paper. But I also sometimes wish that it was up there permanently, just as two small numbers, or, or I guess four numbers. Okay, good. There's another guard that comes down here from above, but he isn't here right now. I want to get that gold plate, worth 50. Here he is. We want to head out where he is, actually. So we want to wait for him to come back. There's nothing else to do downstairs. And we can leave through the balcony that you guys saw above the main entrance. So that we're going to do. When the time comes. Had a little trouble there in the beginning getting on that ledge, but after that it's been a little bit smoother. So after playing the dark mod for a little bit, I have a few opinions about the, um, the mod overall, and I'm interested to hear if you guys agree with me. Just explain. Uh, this is a courtyard then that is actually between the 
that is between Lenderman and a print store. Print store is down here. I'm going to go there eventually. But for now, we're going to head over and get... Oh, he's already up here again. Okay, let's wait for him. Yeah, so the mod is very, very good in terms of the engine. Did he leave again? No. It's very clean, very polished, very predictable, and um, well tested by now. It's, it's you know, 12, 13 years in the making. Um, but that is almost a little... I don't know, it's a blessing and a curse, because it means that you can't tweak the engine at all. You can't you can't do anything like you can in Thief, where you can exploit the engine by doing things that isn't intended. There, there's, I at least haven't found any ways of doing anything like that in the Dark Mod, and that kind of makes it a little bit safer, but it sometimes doesn't make it as adventurous, if you know what I mean. Okay, I should have saved there, but anyway. You know, you can make stacks. I haven't had any reasons to make any elaborate stacks yet, but... I'm not sure why I can't jump there, but... So that is not... That is not... A benefit of having a very good engine, you know, you always complain usually on the dark engine, but I guess the flaws actually have their have their benefits in that you can you can bend the engine a little bit. Maybe there are ways of doing that in this engine 2, I'm not sure, but I haven't tested it as much. I think he's there, so I don't want to push my luck here. We're going to hit into through this door. There's nothing else in here. Wait, oh, he came now. I thought he, he came earlier. Oh, I still haven't judged exactly how far you can drop without taking damage. So this is the print store, then. In here, there are a couple of valuable books, with 60 each. Total 655. And here are some printed notes, but nothing that we can read. And this door here, then, That takes you out to Fourchard Street, just south of the starting area. That's the bridge that we had trouble on. So this door here, or that door there, you have to pick if you want to loot the print shop. I looted the back door. I picked the back door, because I feel that's stealthier, I guess, coming from the courtyard instead of from the streets. So I don't want to pick that lock too. That's why I took the main en entrance instead of 
instead of going through both doors here. So you have to open this gate from the outside by frobbing the lever through the through the gate. Okay, so now I just learned something then. Enemies don't... It's not like if you can't see them, they can't see you kind of deal. They... The sort of hitbox that they can see is not the center of you. Like your, your body sticks out sideways, so that if they see some of the side of your body, then they actually can alert to that. I didn't know that. So you have to give it a little bit more margin. Did I see something? There's a piece of loot up here, so we need to be here. Sometimes I suspect that they actually saw me without alerting, but that's a false suspicion because they don't. Take this, 120, total 775. Two readables up here. I'm gonna... Knock this guy out so we can read those in peace. No! So you can knock out people from the front as long as they don't touch you. If they even have the slightest suspicion that you're there, you can't knock them out. Prayer of the Journeyman. I give thanks to thee for mine arms, Lord Builder, for they shall carry out thy deeds till they are able. I give thanks to thee for mine back, Lord Builder, for it shalt carry the burden thou hast set on me, and bear the punishment thou meetest. I give thanks to thee for mine eyes, Lord Builder, for they shall spy falsehood and ever seek to comprehend thy designs. Amen. And then one more here. Neatly written letter. Dear Mr. Rothger, I fully intend to reimburse you for the prince. A lenderman never reneges on his word, come high or low tide. Nevertheless, might I remind you that the stipulated date is still a week hence, and it is within my right to select the exact day of payment. I would also like to recommend you to reprimand your apprentice. I saw him from my balcony not one day ago, as he was relieving himself in the bushes. In fact, why not have that backyard cleared out? A fastidious man such as yourself surely considers the shrubs and smashed old statuary an eyesore. I am Lenderman. Okay, that's all there is up here. Something... So that's another thing. If you are lit up and then reload, even though where you saved earlier is in the dark, you carry with you the light gem for a fraction of a second which causes enemies to see you. So then you just have to reload a second time and you're good. Okay, so now we have to go back to Lenderman and loot the rest of his floor. Go for, that one on me. go for the opals, and we also have to hit the flop house.
ground floor. This is the door to the balcony, and I think Lenderman is out there right now. I'm gonna head in here and wait. Does something move? for him to leave again. There's a piece of loot in that secretary desk. There's also readable in it and on top of it. There's also a bottle behind one of the chairs here. That was the last piece of loot, one of the last pieces of loot I found. <clears throat> he has three positions. I don't think he goes into that room. That's the storage room. You gotta love the lighting, especially if you have the, the smooth shaders on. The shadow lines is just fantastic. So, visually, the mod is fantastic. Atmospherically perfect. But like I said, it's almost like... Oh, goblet here. Let me grab these two and read these in peace. Let's read the complaint first. Um, Foreman Lorwick. This is an outrage. Just a month after finishing the work on the principal refurbishment, what do I see? The wall is already wet in the new sitting room, and no amount of heating in the fireplace will help dry it. Besides, it was your duty to make sure this does not happen. You are meant to complete everything to specifications, and my money to pay for it all. And on that note, I am right to suspect you have installed the cheapest excuse for thief-proof locks in the security doors I have spent two months waiting for. They are the shoddiest junk I have had the misfortune of seeing. And let me not even speak of the staircase. Brand new, had to climb up and down a ladder and through the front balcony while your monkeys were working on it. And it's, the, it's already so close to collapse, most of my guards will not even come close to it. Beware, Foreman Lorik, for if you fail to respond this time, I will take it up with the armbiters. And when they are done with you, you will never dare work on this side of the city again. I am Lenderman. That is a well-written well complaint. And then we have <clears throat> the business proposal. Dear Lord Hayworth, <clears throat> permit me to say your investment scheme is one befitting your intelligence. And I must reiterate, I have the utmost confidence in your ability to turn it into a lucrative source of revenues. The concept of using sheep's bladders inflated with levitative gases to demonstrate the folly of vacuum, in particular, has struck me as an idea of our time, nay, of a time yet to come even. I will therefore be happy to raise the capital to finance the venture. On your end, a modest collateral should suffice. <clears throat> I would recommend your townhouse, and may even know a responsible business that would be ready to enter our partnership as a silent investor on its basis. I'm afraid they maintain their premises at Darby Court, on Channel Row, to cut down on their overhead, but if that disagreeable part of the city is not a place you would like to visit, just send note and I will buy the principal, uh, Mr. I will buy the principal. Mr. James Merrifield, come here, or even uh, visit you at your country estate to spare your precious time. With the profits of the scheme, we have elaborated on the basis of your own economic theories. The return should allow you to counter the collateral within a scant 17 months and buy him out, or continue working together if you so please. I'm absolutely positive you will find Mr. Merrifield an adept and energetic partner, the perfect person to trust in a daring endeavor of innovation and profit. I remain your faithful servant, uh, Euronymous Melchior Lenderman Factor. Interesting. Not sure if I follow everything in that business proposal, but... We pushed that 
the letter a little bit out when we opened the desk, so I just wanted to leave it there. Let's see, we don't have any keys yet, but we are going to get some keys here. Quiet. I should summon a minstrel. <laughs> I like that comment. Okay, over here is that bottle of wine. Yeah, I can't stand that. I forgot about that. Gotta drop that. Okay, so this is the storage room. Some loot back here. worth 50 each. And then there is a chest that we have to pick open. That's weird. Chests like this come in two pieces, the lid and the actual chest. Sometimes if you try to open the actual chest, it doesn't work. Okay, so here is a key, a brass key, <clears throat> and a scrawled message. Okay, let's read that. Greetings and salutations, old friend. Knew you would arrive without any trouble, and with that lumbering usurer, get out just as easily. I can assure you the opals are in good hands with old Fredo. And promise I'll, I promise I'll drink to your health and marchants. And praise my good fortune for overhearing you at the tavern. Those rope arrows have also come in handy, allowing me to enter the place through the back. So thanks also for lending them to me. Since I am not all bad, here's one for you. The owner of the flop house across the user has a secret room somewhere on the upper floor. Saw him once hauling up heavy merchandise with a winch in the back alley and even got me a key when he had his back turned to me. With the opals, <coughs> with the opals in my pocket, you are welcome to whatever he has stored there, plus anything I might have overlooked in here. Your pal, Fredo. So that finishes the objective of stealing the pouch of opals because there are no opals now. And that's ultimately why the mission is called Fiasco at Foshar Street. Which I think is a little bit of a stretch, but anyway. But now we have a new objective. Bested. To live down the bitter failure, at least steal something good. The cash mentioned by the letter will do. So we have to then go to the flop house, use this brass key, which cannot be returned, by the way. Um, and get that cash, that treasure cash. Now we can... Turn the letter. Cannot relock that. That chest. Oops. Now we have to leave.
safe here. So we can leave. Uh, that's a little bit tricky, but we should be able to. something over there so you can head over here but you light up when you get into this pipe a little bit so we got to wait for Lenderman and for the guards here to be favorable so we can mantle up this tank well, without making noise the other night. and then we can slide back down again and then we're gonna head west and the flop house is just across the Across the way. Not too much more left. Greetings. Okay. Now we have a lot of guards around us here. to wait out this guard too. Still good stealth wise here. That happens when you mantle that you actually go out of bounds for a second as part of the mantle mechanic there are those who are afraid of greatness there are take it that's not you mister fastest way of moving that I've found is crouching and then tapping the run key. You don't get spotted. This woman here does not alert to us, but the guards obviously do. We're going to have to... You can climb up this vine here. Or whatever it is. Sometimes it's difficult to know if you're actually on the right. ledge or not. Let's see. Cool. 
can actually crawl along the ledge. So we're now on the east side of the flop house, northeast side, along the southern end of Fourchard Street. Stealth score here, so we have to jump over into a mantle hmm. here, and I probably need to stand for this. That doesn't sound right. Should be able to do that. Yeah. Um, we're going to now enter Arlick Estate. It's in the far south there. The only way you can do that is from this ledge, I believe. Might be able to jump all the way from here then. <coughs> Good, we can head in here. Here's a very nice set of armor and a readable as well. Mr. Uh, Fillmore, here is the set of armors, um, armor delivered and oiled per your request. The change in your helmet is exact um, as you have specified. There is a package with new greaves and we have uh, adjusted the straps in the suit in a way that should uh, chafe less your servant Bartholomew Culver. And the only way we're in, or reason we're in here, really, is because there is a piece of loot. Purse worth 50. Under this little hat. Total 990. see me there? No. So mantles are pretty safe. Unless you drop a long distance before you mantle, then it actually does make noise. Sailor pad. Right. So much to do. It doesn't really matter what kind of surface you're on, unless you're on grass or carpet. Um, if you run, standing up, you will get caught. You'll get hurt. Okay, so this is just a bedroom. This is not where the cash is, but it's a bedroom with some loot. A pile of coins worth 40, and that hits our 1,000 loot. We have 1,030. And a purse worth 50 under the chamber pot. How neat that is. I think I got caught, no. Okay, 
So here, this is a little bit difficult, actually. Hmm. To drop down here without... So I guess somebody heard me, wherever they are. So yeah, I think you can climb that pipe, actually. Huh? Oh, you land on top of the pipe first. faster here because no guards really come over to this corner. So we're now at the very southwestern corner. So it said there was a back entrance here, which is this. So this is where we are going to get the cash. Purse worth 15, total 10 uh, 95. Here's a cabinet that we have to pick open. And then we have to move this out of the way. Here is the secret. We have to use the brass key. Here we got some loot. One, two, three, four, five gold goblets and a gold plate. Total 1220. Then we have to pick the lock on this. a trophy and a gold goblet and a purse with um, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be the opals or if it's supposed to be some other I thought Fredo had the opals so I don't think that's it some kind of um, jewels so that's 1670 that is one shy of all the loot not one it's one loot item shy so don't forget we have to lock this door again. Easy to forget that. And then we have to move this back in there. Last piece of loot is this goblet across the way. We can drop. There. Did we get caught there? We did. Okay, somebody heard that for sure. <clears throat> oh, I did not get any alerts there. Let's see. For sure, they saw me there. 
We just have to wait. somebody hearing oh that. Okay, let's see. <sighs> I'm not sure if we can get that piece oh of loot in any other way but to jump. have to time the guards again, I guess. <coughs> I'm not sure who hears that, but... Oh yeah, they come all the way down here occasionally. Okay, I'm just going to have to wait them out. Um, let me actually make a real save here, I think. to wait for them to come down here, turn around, but they're working together, so. They've even got an escort. Bloody hell. If he wants it done differently, he can do it himself. <laughs> Still got one there, let's see. <clears throat> I'm not sure who it is that actually catches me, that's the problem here. We wait until he goes away then maybe. <coughs> Let's try that. 
Still, we got three there. Who is it that catches us now? Hello. <clears throat> I thought I'd never be. I've worn my fingers to the bone with that. The two by the front door, maybe? I'm not sure. We don't have any rope arrows either, that's the problem in this mission here, so... I don't know how I did this last time, but I did do it. Midair. <laughs> there, good. Let's save it immediately. Good, I'm not sure what did it there, but we were just lucky, I guess. He said it wouldn't take long, and I can't wait around forever. And I won't wait around. So there. So now, <clears throat> we have to find our way back to the starting position. Mark what you say. Uh -huh. My metal is made of... <coughs> <coughs> and you can use two ways to do that. Greetings. Oh, very well. Move along now. Move along. Oh, very well. I need a good You can either go back through Lenderman's like and then night. out through the balcony and then through the office complex on, like we there. took on the way over here. But Move that'll take now. a long Move time, along. so I'm going to go very through well. the underpass right here, which is difficult because you have to find uh. a gap in their patrols, but... Like that. 
So you got those two patrollers that go all the way back to the start, and then you have this archer right here. What might that be? So... We either have to go when that archer comes back, or when he walks north. Because that archer will catch us pretty much anywhere else. Let's see if we can find an opening now. probably can do that, to be honest with you. Huh. <coughs> oh no, is there somebody up there? Hmm? Sees us through that. That's what happens. Huh? What's that? Taste my stuff. Okay, let's see. I think we maybe can do this still. just comes out of the door, that's why it's so bad timing. Something over there. How did he see me? Okay. <coughs> they have extremely good peripheral vision. Even if you walk at the slowest. Can be very tricky, let's see. We got it there. Good. I'm gonna read this. Notice we have several advantageous employments to propose to those who are good clerks, draftsmen, and accountants of sure hand, which any person may be furnished with an at our office. <laughs> or consult Mr. H. Gross prop. Note the detriment that has arisen to persons employed by the late Woolen and Sons by non-payment of their salaries. We welcome any previous employees with certainty of the payment of salaries. Painted by J.D. Rothger, Forshard Street. the last readable I wanted to yeah, cover.
we go. Okay, so that was a successful perfect supreme ghost of Fiasco at Fort Shard Street. Um, we took all the loot. We get a zero stealth score here, as you guys can see. And um, no damage dealt and received, of course. No pockets picked. No KOs, no bodies, anything like that. So, yeah. Um, that is the last Dark Mod mission of Milan's Talbot series. So we only have Prowl of the Dark left. But um, I won't do that now. Um, I might have another Dark Mod mission left, or next. And then, like I said, I think I will go to Keeper of the Prophecies before starting Seven Sisters. So we'll just have to see. Um... But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I like this one. I like this mission a lot. Uh, it's maybe a little bit too short, but it really showcases how incredibly sensitive some of the guards are, especially in the streets. But it's nice that you can move around in different ways. Yeah, so it's non-linear, even though it's a very small mission. So that's good. That's typical Milan. Okay, so that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night. Bye-bye.